What is up my streaming TV and how are you all doing and welcome back to From the Depths where we are uh, falling. <laughs> we are starting off with our fight versus the Onyx Watch. We are currently up against a crap load of Defiance. Please do not go in the sea. As you can see our battery is low so hopefully you know our steam boilers get to work and get our batteries charged up but our lambs are going off I assume so how are you all doing in this god awful heat this horrible summer I already hate it and it's just started and what are you all up to for this summer are you doing anything special well as you can see we are getting rid of these defiance easily even though there was a crap load of them crap load of them never seen this many boats in um, you know one uh, one group like that but very good very good our little flagship here is doing what it should be doing albeit we definitely need to increase our battery charge that is for sure because uh, as we started off we did get quite close to the surface there anyway that is that one done let's go on to the next group Alrighty, so before we carry on there is something that I want to do and that is bring in a new craft that I have been working on um, it is not finished so we still have shielding to do there is a crap load of armor that we need to get sorted out on the back I have been using a reference online for this construct which I will show probably when I finish the construct itself uh, when we get that done and out the way it, like, it is definitely not efficient whatsoever I mean we've got probably too many RTGs right now that we probably don't need all, all, all four like this um, these CG, these custom jet engines I really have no clue as to custom jet engines so hopefully you guys have a decent ratio of how many bits and pieces we should put on uh, as a you know CJE may be able to go somewhere over here so that would be one two three four five six seven seven blocks seven blocks long so we can probably get in like seven blocks of a cje there if you guys have any decent ideas let me know in the box in the down there i'm gonna let this build and uh, bring you guys back in a mo Alrighty, so we're gonna be going up against two hail birds Let's get our fingers off the weapons uh, looks like somebody started off a little bit high over there. <laughs> Triggering the mislies, the misly mislies. What are these? What do they do? Ooh. Hello. Where's the sound? I can't hear the. Oh. Oh well. Oh well. We can't hear the booms. It doesn't matter really, I guess. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Weapons are being, uh, you know, popped off like that. Very good. Our little boaty from last time. Looks like we have been hit in the face. <laughs> somewhere. We've been hit somewhere. Um, yeah, that that uh, frag there. It is it is a pain. You know, for me, I see frag as a pain in the ass when it's, you know, versus me. <laughs> but when I'm using it, it's fine. But yeah. Definitely need a bit more shielding. That is for sure. Um, to do that, we definitely need to upgrade the power um, and you know power reserves and power generation. Over here, how are things looking? Oh, we're getting rid of them slowly. So yes, the missiles I'm trying to keep uh, versus flyers like I said last time but as I've got those ammo processors installed I'm actually thinking of uh, starting to use them versus the ships as well. well definitely definitely increase the damage output that is for sure as we do have a mix of explosives frags and EMP missiles excellent well it looks like we're getting rid of that slowly 
the, you know, it is a shame that there's something that costs this much that it's only producing, I don't know, to me it's like it's not producing enough damage for its size and cost. But most of that cost is down to the lambs as well. I guess this is more of a, a defensive vehicle rather than an offensive one. Excellent, excellent. We are on the latest dev test, um, 2.4.7.5, I believe. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Even though, you know, we do have things, you know, bouncing off the shields, we do have a couple, um, as there's three firing pieces, we're using three different shields on the back there. So, I believe two of the the firing pieces are going to be using inertial and one is on AP I believe a pen depth pen depth of two I think excellent excellent so after this we shall be seeing the new the new uh, vehicle <laughs> it does need a bit of work that is for sure uh, especially in the eye candy department. There is bits missing because <laughs> I forgot to put mirror mode on, so there's going to be a couple of bits, you know, missing here and there. But I have been spending too much time on it, getting it to work as I wanted to, so... Um, yeah, I thought better just, you know, stop working on it for a while, bring it in, show you guys, and just, you know, play a bit because I haven't, you know, touched a campaign at all. Um, all Okay, so we're going to be going up against one pedal gun and one uh, ransack, I believe. Let's have a quick look over here. What is going on? So we did kind of uh, spawn them a little bit too far, I guess. I guess. Ooh, that was a... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That one might actually cause us some issues, but hopefully our boaty over there will be distracting them. Definitely need to do some decoys and some other stuff. Um, remove the whole, um, you know, uh, what the hell are they called? The connections, the, the bloody wireless connection things. And uh, connect them, you know, with six-way connectors to the AI. Um, uh, missiles, don't know why they were just activated, but this thing may have gotten launched into the air a bit. Well, there is something very weird. <laughs> there is something very weird. Um, okay. But it looks like, you know, our little bomb over there is, uh, it's helping out. It is slow. There is... The thing that's upsetting me most about it is that it has to... I don't know why it needs to fly so far out. Uh, you know, so much distance to come back again. I mean, as you can see, you've probably got off one attack there. Just one attack, I think. All, all the buttons in the world and I <laughs> keep on hitting the wrong things. So I did um, get our little creation to start off very far out. Just so it has time to get those steam boilers uh, working and all that good stuff you know so give it a bit of time before those cram reaches us you know and and the lambs start going off and we start falling and and all that horrible stuff why do we have missiles 
Oh, I guess. Jesus Lord. Lord Jesus. This is dead already. What? A new alpha? You. Uh, uh, fair enough. I'm definitely not going to complain with that. That is absolutely, utterly, awesomely epic. Perfect. Well done. I. <laughs> Speechless. Jesus. Okay, so finally the bulwark has actually made a horrible, nasty appearance. Uh, so we've got one of those, one of these, one of them, and that. So this is going to be a very, very, very large battle in terms of volume. Um, I have never set up a battle like this before, so I don't know how it's going to play out. But this is the current frames, well, in, in map mode. We're going to be keeping an eye on that just to see, you know, how well the game has actually progressed in terms of performance. Alright, so we have loaded in. Currently the game is paused. Um, there's a couple of things that I wanted to actually do before we get everything moving. Okay, so what I've done is I've just set up like manual attack command. So I want this one to attack something, these to attack something else, and so on and so forth. I've set up a flagship over here to be on patrol mode. I just want him here. Like that. For now. For now I just want him here and, you know, having, having crap spewn forth out of his uh, cannons. So I'm going to unpause it. You're going to see the epic frame drop. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So hopefully he... That should stay airborne. Uh, yeah, over there. Because what I'm planning is I want to draw fire with him my god, these guys are flying so close. So close. This guy can get rid of a couple of the, la the, the, the cranny stuff. So, you know, our lambs are being lambs and they're not being sheep. They're doing their thing. Our bomber should be coming pretty uh, soon. I've got the bomber to go for the trebuchet. I believe. I believe it's the trebuchet. Um, our submarine... Actually, our submarine, I've given it a little bit of a something. Okay, so our submarine over here, we've given it a little bit of the railings. The railings are absolutely awesome. Um, they're new. Well, for me, they're new. They came out recently with a couple of the updates, the recent updates. Um, something so simple, you know, it adds so much. Uh, it, it just adds so much to your, to your construct, really. I'll have to do a couple up here, I guess. Uh, I don't know if it's going to interfere with the detection or not, but, you know, actually... We can see there. All ah, right, so yes, it does interfere with detection, which is a damn shame, really, considering that you know they're small little things, like you know they're they're, they're not totally blocking it. But anyway, that is that. That's the only thing that I've done to to the uh, to the sub, uh, who is going for this guy. I think, I think. So whilst we wear them down a little bit, then, you know, we will bring in the flagship. Because the flagship still needs a lot of work. Actually, pretty much all of all of these these do, except, well, probably except for them, but... <laughs> um, yeah, this guy, he is a hell of a slow. But our flagship does seem able... Uh, to land hits on that bulwark. No bulwark. Let's see, how far are we? Well, yeah, the flagship is... is... <laughs> is 5,000 meters away. Okay, so that's a little bit too much. That is probably... yeah, too much. <laughs> They're not going to be detecting it properly from, from there, are they? So what I'm going to do is, as you know, that to me seems pretty bad. Why is our bomber... Oh dear, he's in the water for some reason. Okay, so we're going to say, come here. Moving out. Uh, oh. What is wrong with you, my friend? Did I not... No, oh, that's what I forgot to do. Yeah. Totally forgot to hit the, the get moving button. So let's check the constructs out over here. This guy looks like we've just, well, somewhat started on him. Uh, 
And this one, this one is is pretty much dead. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So so far things are looking pretty good. Um, pretty pretty good. But as you can see, all the firepower is being drawn uh, towards our flagship, really. And I honestly did not realize that we were that far out uh, when we started the, the, the battle. So, you know, that to me, it's a little bit meh. Like, you know, being that far out, um, over 5,000, I believe, they don't detect properly. Not too sure. So yeah, things seem to be going well. We've got the flagship. He is on the move to get closer because I, I'm not too too happy with the distance there. That is too much of a distance and uh, the enemy constructs, you know, well, every, every I think it's um, 5,000 meters um, is the maximum uh, sort of like distance for detection, I believe. I believe. I'm not too sure. Uh, excellent get I told you to attack him very good but he seemed to have been already taken out um, bom, bom, bom. you know what I'm gonna actually tell our bomber here Engaging to now. attack him so yeah our flagship should be moving um, Actually, what we could probably do is um, just get it to attack now, I guess. Um, Taking control. Like that. Considering, you know, most of our constructs have gotten close to the enemy. They're, they're engaging. Um, you know, our flagship is still taking, drawing the fire. It's like our bomber is... Yeah. I guess I shouldn't have told her to attack <laughs> like that. Probably I should have left it, you know, fly off a little. Don't know what the hell that did there. Why? Why it just decided to nosedive like that? But their bulwark is very tough, isn't it? And then we got these guys. They're just yeah, they're not going to do anything to it really. Actually, those guys, we should also tell those two little dudes um, to attack that. Like, this guy over here has gone, <laughs> like, isn't there one attacking you? Really? Whoops. Whoops. The stealthy boat. <laughs> this whole thing didn't get any attention whatsoever. Nobody likes it. Nobody wants to, to touch it. Now loads of balloons in there. Very nice. Though so he, we, the bomber is out of the water. Very good. Very good. So those guys, they are engaging him. Our boaty over here, he is looking after the crams as he should be. Very nice. Um. Our flagship has managed to stay out of the water, hopefully. As you know, it doesn't have his lambs going off that often now, so that's pretty good. I don't know why, though. I mean, these guys can aim at that. I uh, don't know why they're sort of like fixated forwards. They, they do have the constraints to like, you know. That is strange. Don't know, don't, don't, don't know. Usually you get turrets firing at one thing, firing at something else, you know, when you uh, have the constraints or on. But looks like we're probably a little bit... Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. But I believe it's probably a power issue. Let us just hop over to uh, the deck chair. Lol. Yeah, our power is uh, going down like hell. So this guy over here, how is he doing? 
Oh my lord, the sun. Oh Jesus, Lord, they are mating. This is the mating season for you. The uh, I really think you're going to be hitting that with the pack for sure. You cannot miss. Definitely cannot miss. Jesus, that. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing? You idiot. Seriously? My god, man. So it looks like our pack is uh, damaged, I believe. Yeah, that is. That's damaged. So the bottom one is damaged, which is a goddamn shame, really. Or not, or is getting fixed. I don't know what is happening. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But. It's eating away at them. So. Yeah, he's, he's gone. He's, he's a goner now. It's a damn shame about our pack, really. So it does have a hell of a lot of work left to do on our on our flagship there. Um, that is for sure. That's for sure. Really don't know why. Oh no! Now they. That is just mind blowing. You know how how it passed an enemy and they weren't even tracking it, but now. But now it is, kind of thing. Don't know. No idea what is going on, really. And there's so much happening, I don't even know what I should be looking at right now. But this guy is health below, and yeah, he's, he's despawning. Let's just quickly pause that. Let's go over here, see what is happening. So yeah, we are getting a couple of pauses now in the game. As you can see, it's uh, pause, pause. But that it, that thing over there is is despawning. That's probably the reason behind that. And we do have all of this collision stuff going on over here, which <laughs> this is unbelievable. Like seriously, from all the places, there had to be a mountain right under it. For our sub to be like, yeah, I'm not going to collide with that for once. Jesus. Jeebus, jeebus. Hopefully our bomber can come in and uh, help us out. So it looks like everyone is going after this thing over here with our submarine stuck under it. <laughs> they totally left that old one at the back there, like on its own. Like, oh, it's just made of wood. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, it's just wood. <laughs> oh jeez lord, look at that. My god, man. That was the, the gear, that is very bad. <laughs> That's very bad. I really wasn't expecting that at all. So yeah, it looks like our bomber, you know, needs a couple of tweaks, that is for sure. Really, really disliking its long attack run that it has to take before it heads back, you know, to a target. You know, the whole circling thing and lining, the lining up of things. It's um, a little too much for my liking. Excellent. Excellent. Well, that is that. I think it was about 220-ish, uh, I believe, if I remember right, from from the map. So, yeah, it was a little bit messy. Uh, um, uh, I don't know how decent of stuff, you know, the, the fights that I captured properly and, and so on like that. I mean, it was a big fight. I don't have, you know, haven't had too many big fights like this so I didn't know what to focus on that to be on, on on this really okay so let's quickly get rid of these attackers uh, where the hell are we what is going on well it looks like something is wrong with our bomber we have fuel we have battery power, so I don't really don't know what is wrong with it. Something I'll have to check out later on. 
I mean, it could be damaged. Really, I don't know. But anyway, the small fry here, they should have been uh, dealt with easily. Oh, two little flyers always flying hand in hand. That is... <laughs> that's really cute. Aww. Lovely. Lovely. So, if you have enjoyed what you have what you've seen today please remember to smash that like and subscribe button like they owe you money so hopefully you know i can upload some more hopefully now you know i can the the uploads can be a little bit more frequent as you know i've, I've built a couple of things we've got a couple of stuff to use um the next thing that i need to build is definitely something to transport the fuel uh, for sure, because, you know, if we're going to be using those CJs and, and all that horrible stuff, um, yeah, the fuel is going to be an issue. Excellent. So that is that. Going to see what is wrong with him. <laughs> Something's wrong with him. Oh, jeez. What is happening over here? What is all of these? There's more defiance. They're all coming to the... For the... the, the, the what my god an eerie as well oh jesus well i'm gonna see how long i've recorded and if so we're gonna do some more stuff okay so before we go i thought you know it's better to try best to try to show the bomber you know what it's supposed to be doing properly like which is stuff like that and that so that is this is one of the reasons why i wanted to make a dive bomber is so that when it comes down it's coming down at an angle or you know which i have get the tune up properly that it'll come down at a certain angle where the elevation of the, the enemy's barrels you know it wouldn't be able to hit it as it's coming you know face first to the target um and then you know, it levels out drops its load and carries on again so and it'll be doing the same thing when it's leaving that it will be going you know the the bomber will be going up in a you know at a steep angle so that, you know, the elevation of the barrels, uh, you know, won't be able to get to it. At least that is the idea um, as to why, or, you know, I wanted to try to go for a dive bomber. So there is a couple of things that I do need to tweak. Um, as you can see, this, the starting run, you know, the distance from the target to us. Oh, crap. Where we level out, because right there, that is one of the issues. So if we have it to level out somewhere here, so if we start the the attack run later, um, you know, delay the attack run just a little bit, we should probably, you know, do a little better. So in terms of the internal stuff and things, let's just get rid of him. Come over here. Give us a bit of a repair as well. Um, actually, there's no need. Let's just do this and that. So, why did I use pistons and all of that good stuff? Well, I want to line up these, which they're not properly lined up yet. As you can see, there's a bit of a step there. So, it's pushing and pulling as well as, you know, tilting and rotating that way. So, we're going, we're rotating down there, we're rotating this way, and so on to try to, you know, get a decent and smooth, you know, try to go for a tapered sort of like, you know, pointy, facey thing there. Uh, and as you know, one of the reasons why I was using the, um, these guys, these pistons, you know, was for, for some of that good stuff as well. So as I said previously, I think these are the only p places where there are mimics is here. Um, I probably probably changed them out later as you can see we've got this ugliness you know sticking out like that so there's a couple of bits and pieces that have yet to be sorted out um, this is not a mimic uh, just trying to create an angle from this corner here down to um, this corner here so I was trying to do that uh, but yeah obviously you know a little bit of tweaks here and there on the armor side. Well, that's the mimic side. That's the eye candy side. So some more armor over here. The proper armor, not mimics, uh, around our, our CJEs. The breadboard. It's. Uh, I think it's okay, really. Um, let's just zoom in a bit. 
So what we have here is pretty much we're getting the, the target bearing. Uh, this is pretty much like the, the the check that I have in the flagship for the point that if so if if our ship is here uh, and there is an enemy sort of like within this um, radius or range or angle from us, then we can attack it. You know we can turn towards it and attack it properly. Um, so if that's the case, you know then. What's going to happen is, you know, so if, if that is true, the A equals 1, and B is the target distance. So if, if, if the target distance is greater than 0 and less than or equal to 1,000, then we're going to start to pitch down and, you know, dip down. So we're changing our AI to uh, a aerial bombing, which I think is about 75 crews and, and something very low like that. Which is also, let's just scroll and scroll, um, which is also attached to our hover and our pitch. So, you know, our hover is, is give, just giving us uh, the altitude pretty, pretty much there. Uh, so it's, you know, taking them to send us down, really. As you can see, it's got minus 10. Okay, so down here, the, the only difference that we are doing is we have the same, we have pretty much this we've got it down here instead of on a thousand we've got it on a 250 and 250 this is separated by an or so we have if a is false and we have if a is true uh, and the only difference is our range is here so uh, B down here is, is, is B over here really so that's the only difference and that is going to be telling our bomber to use you know a aerial bombing with a, a greater uh, altitude I forgot what altitude it is. It's not 350, that's for sure. And then on down here, we're going to be saying, you know, head up and pitch up. And so down here is pretty much a simple thing. This is pretty much where I'm just covering a couple of, uh, you know, situations where to keep us using the aerial bombing of the, the highest altitude that I've got set. And, and that's pretty much it, really. So what happens is when we're in a 1,000 range, we dive down um, until we hit 250 and then you know we will then pitch up from this statement down here so it's going to pitch down until 250 when it's 200 uh, less than 250 or greater or when it's less than or equal to 250 that's when we'll start to pitch up and we should get to 400 but sometimes it does hit the 600 mark as you can see we're currently at 6, uh, 630 And that is the whole idea behind the dive bombers. So, so remember, if you have liked what you've seen today, please remember to smash that like and subscribe button. Like they owe you money. For now, I'm going to say take care. And we still miss with the cram. So take care, and we'll catch you all on the next one.